Hi, I'm Stuart, and welcome to Sarnet Television. This young man over here is... Chris, thanks for joining us. And we're on... Sarnet Television. What a better place to be. That's great. We're going to be talking about a brand new product here today. It's actually from Wheelan Engineering in Chester, Connecticut. Great part of the world, by the way. Shout out to everybody in Chester. It is part of the Micron family of product, and it's a little different because it is a stud-mounted Micron. Indeed. So rather than the conventional surface mount that affixes in with a set of screws, one to each side, and then includes a polycarbonate bezel, this version is simpler. It lacks a bezel surround, but it is completely sealed. And you'll notice, accompanying the left and right side of the center pigtail harness, studs. So these are actually designed for a very specific purpose from what you told me before we yep. got started here. And with that, they are designed. And what was that purpose? <laughs> Wheel and Engineering has designed these to work hand in hand with the 2016 Ford Utility Interceptor. There so the go. SUV platform. So this is really designed to go in the grill. It of is. That so on that service package, on the front grill up left and right side of the Ford emblem, on the grill there's two plastic tabs that pop out right. and with those being removed you'll then find holes that are already punched into the grill slat for the stud mount microns to bolt right onto. Okay. So it's really just a matter of take your SUV, pop the tabs out of the grill, take the microns of your choosing as far as your colors for your vehicle and then just simply put them on wire them up to your siren and lighting controller, and you're ready to go. Perfect real solution. Now again, this is specifically for the Ford Interceptor family of vehicle that is designed for law enforcement or emergency service applications. So your standard Ford Explorer this, isn't this is not going to work okay. in the standard civilian model Ford Explorer. Ford has made a few tweaks to the front balances between the normal mom and pop version versus the department version that's geared toward dressing up with these kind of accessories. Wow, oh, I love the way you described that, Chris. Oh, thank you. Very elegant. So we've got also two different lens colors here. We do. Kind uh, of colors. So depending on how you're wanting to dress up your Ford, you can pick between a standardized, so what we are used to seeing, a clear lensed version, or you can pick up the smoked lens option. So wow. depending on how you're wanting to dress up the vehicle, maybe add a little bit more stealth to it, the smoked version is going to disappear into the black grill great little hideaway. So. so essentially we have a dressed up, stud mounted, smoked guy. That's really, really nice and bright. So something to mention to you about the Microns, inside this wonderful fixture, polycarbonate lens with a TIR style optic, right. you have six diodes. So these are available in a solid color format. So all six diodes of the same color, so amber, red, blue. You can get it in split colored versions as well. So for folks wanting to break up the colors, it could be done in a red, blue split, for example. And in that case, it's going to go three by three as far as the diode count goes. Now again, they're not offering, I think we have the close-up camera on this here. You can see, as Chris just mentioned, the TIR, the Totally Integrated Reflector. Now, you're, they're not offering this in a linear version. They are not. With the microns, to give them the most punch in their compact little sizing here, okay. the TIR optics do absolutely wonderful. But okay. something that you probably just noticed from watching at home is the lens has a bit of a bowing to it, so curvature. So what that is doing is it's helping stretch the light so you're getting a good amount of off access. Okay. And also, for those of you who are wondering what this little area here is, this allows the unit to breathe. It does, so it's a Gore-Tex breather. So when it comes to mounting these on the front grill, make sure to orient them so that the Gore-Tex breather is downward facing, so toward the roadway. And one of the reasons is that obviously when you put these lights together, you're gonna to create a vacuum uh, because they're put it together in a machine. And the objective here is to allow the pressure inside the light to fluctuate with the outside air pressure and also reduce condensation as well. It's one of the biggest problems that you have with light heads, not just of this size, but any size, for example, is that if air gets trapped inside the light head behind the lens and there's no way for it to breed in or out, you get condensation problems with temperature changes. Perfect. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Wonderful, I was hoping you would say that. So as you can see, very nice and bright. Sorry for blinding out the guys behind the camera. But when it comes to these little light heads, wiring is very straightforward. It's a four-wire pigtail, so ground, 
input for tying it into your lighting and controller or switch panel of your choosing. There is a flash pattern adjustment, so white with violet tracing, and that will allow you to go through a total of 25 different flash patterns. Mm -hmm. So you can select it you know, based on what your preference is for your vehicle and how you want your lighting to work. They can also be synchronized. So great thing about this is the stud micron can synchronize with the surface mount. You can also talk to other wheel and sync products. So Vertexes, Ions, TIR3s, Linz Z6s. So it's a really versatile light head that can do a lot for your warning system. And let's put the smoked one on. So there you have it, very nice and bright. And really between the two, again, clear lens versus smoked, you'll notice that it is amazingly intense. So it's not taking anything away from the powerful punch. Well, there it is, a really interesting product. Tech specs, of course, are on the website, right? They are indeed. Fully uploaded, and it is? The MCRN. T, and that is going to be the stud mount micron in a clear lens or MCRNTX for the smoked version. Couldn't have said it better myself, even though I didn't. That's Chris. That's Stuart. You've been watching Sarna Television, and as always, thanks for watching.